Welcome to Ella's Beef Easter's Radio Air Check and Classic TV Channel. And then later on, the funny blonde and blonde with Dead Ramos and Tony Powell. What? Uh-oh. What? Yeah. What? Don't go and debate the S's. Mm. Right now, the Godfather's there. Good morning, Godfather. Good morning. Thank you, Don Imus, for arranging this meeting. Sure. I'd also like to thank the heads of the other five families from Winslow, Arizona, Don Henley. From Los Angeles, Don Drysdale. From Las Vegas, Don Rickles. Don Knotts from Mayberry. Don Shula from Miami. And from Hawaii, Don Ho. Excuse me, I'm sorry, can you say that? Forgive me. How did things get so far? It's so unfortunate, so unnecessary. How does Don Trump receive such disrespect from the Democrats? He addresses them at this annual meeting in Congress, the Stato del Unione, the State of the Union. And they do not applaud for him. So he calls the act treasonous and then receives further disrespect for categorizing it as such. His mouthpiece, this woman, the Huckabee Sanders, she says that Don Trump was making a joke. Oh, yeah, that's a real knee slapper. <laughs> he has a history of these jokes. He once said he could stand in the middle of Fifth Avenue and shoot somebody and not lose voters. Oh, my sides. <laughs> and the time he said to the police officers that when they put a suspect in the back seat of the squad car, they should not be too nice, not protect their heads. Stop. You're killing me. <laughs> Why is he expected to make jokes? E il presidente degli Stati Uniti non un certo maggiordomo inglese falito, metto ovesta sin giozzare in un club di comedia. He's the president of the United States, not some failed English major middling at chuckle butts in Dayton. <laughs> But it's not the failure to publicly praise him for his accomplishments an act of betrayal. In my business, those who work for me are less apt, excuse me, fewer apt, to disrespect me. <laughs> because they know how I look upon such an infamia. Those who do not offer me full support find themselves accidentally falling out of a window that they've been repeatedly thrown against to show it's unbreakable. <laughs> or receiving a fatal haircut with a blowtorch. Or a prostate exam with an umbrella that is then opened. And it's not even raining. Ora è divertente. Now that's funny. I do, Godfather. I must in the morning. 26 after the hour here in the Amish Point program. Thank you very much. But now I'm a girl for reading them commercials for me, baby. So, yes, sir. Vince Gill is coming up. And then the blondes. Right now, the Cardinal's here. It's always good to have the out of my way. Oh, Cardinal in. Move it, move it. Move good morning, Cardinal. Cup of tea over. Good morning, God bless. <laughs> <laughs> Let me just say this, I miss Lamar. Yeah. The only thing sad about that spectacular SpaceX rocket launch yesterday is that you were not strapped to the outside of the fuselage, <laughs> you two-legged bag of turds, Jimmy G's. <laughs> bon voyage, you filthy maggot, you. <laughs> Let me just say this, stupid. Yeah. While we're all waxing nostalgic... Walking down memory lane here on the Imus Show, let this conversation serve as notice to you, Imus Lamar, that the New York Archdiocese, working in conjunction with the NYPD and the federal government, are assembling a report, a dossier if you like, uh -oh. outlining the repeated debauchery, detailing the illicit, immoral, illegal behavior on the part of one Don Imus back in the 20th century. <laughs> Some of the depraved activities already leaked to the press include... Taking money from drug-addled record executives. <laughs> Helping to finance the lifestyle of deadly drug kingpin Pablo Escobar through multiple massive cocaine purchases. And finally, paying whores to urinate into a cowboy hat, you fugly ass freak, give me Jesus. <laughs> These leaks, no pun intended, only scratch the surface. Stay tuned for more, BGs. Heads down, you boot-licking hooligans. It's time for a wee prayer. Oh, good. Name of the Father, the Son, the Holy Ghost. I'm missing the body bag we want the most. No, oh, no. Lord, take him now. Come on ahead. <laughs> Lord, take him now. Lord, we pray. Somebody puts Philadelphia Eagle fans in their places. Wouldn't it be terrible if that somebody was ISIS? Oh, Lord, take him now. Come on. <laughs> oh, Lord, take him now. Lord, we pray. Justin Timberlake, stop stealing from and insulting the blacks. If not, he gets hit in the forehead with a pickaxe or some damn thing. Oh, Lord, take him now. Come on oh, ahead. Lord, take him now. Lord, we pray for an end to divisive politics, a resolution to the rift. Or they find face down in the Potomac, Congressman Adam Schiff. Oh, Lord, take him now. Oh, Lord, take him now. Finally, Lord, we pray. The I-Man has to do his final show from a hospital bed. 
But that in the middle of a my pillow spot, he drops dead. <laughs> no, no, oh, no, take him now. Come on ahead. No, 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 no. God bless us and save us. Have a lovely week in the whole ideas. Which doesn't belong in way? I love this part. Which doesn't belong in way? A, Willie Nelson. Willie Nelson. B, Paul Simon. Paul Simon. C, Amos and Lamar. Which doesn't belong in way? Well, I would say Willie Nelson. Wrong. You, well, right you are, you shriveled up old <laughs> smeckle, you be Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> well, all three overrated entertainers are finally getting the hell off the stage. The answer indeed is Willie Nelson doesn't belong because unlike the other two degenerates, Willie Nelson never had sex with some Puerto Rican boy in a schoolyard, be Jesus. <laughs> I don't care if it rains off, Jesus. As long as the Iron funny. Man dies, be Jesus. Vince Gill is next. There he is now. I love this record, too. Tell me what you don't like about Tell me, fool. The Wild West of Talk Radio. I am us in the morning. The Blondes are coming up. The dead drivers, Tony Powell. Uh oh. Born to bed to Isis. Sid Rosenberg is uh, sick. He went home. That's how sick he is. Mm -hmm. Poor little thing. I, really, I just love Sid. I don't, I'm, not, I'm not sure why. I just love talking to him. Yeah. Like, I like talking to Lupica. I love talking to Wyatt, Deirdre. I've got some people I like talking to. I like talking to that goofy Bill White and that goofier John Wall. That's in Texas. So. Good times. Just fun. I don't know. Sometimes I like talking to Robert Andrews, you know, the financial guy. He's a half a knucklehead. Yeah, doesn't he? Yep. <laughs> Hang on. You know who's great is Vince Gill. Oh, my God. Nice man. You know, um, and you, I think you, I could talk to him for an hour. But here's the problem. And I think, well, when I stop doing I'm in the morning, well, I do something like that. Where I, you know, where I... Interview folks, longer form interviews, play country music or some, you know, do that. And uh, I might, but I, but I, I'm not deluding myself. But you can't get anybody to listen to that because that's, 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 you know, if those long interviews worked, <laughs> there'd be a lot more of them. You know, I mean, a lot of people don't know how to interview people, but anyway. But it, it works fine the way it is, and we should leave it probably there. So. That's this way. Well, um, one of our dogs. God. This is terrible. <laughs> oh, man. I feel mostly bad for Deirdre, Imus, who, who takes care of these dogs. We have seven dogs, like their children, and it's a big job. Um. We have uh, there's three Australian mini whatever the hell they are. There's uh, Quana, Topsana, and Ed, and then there's Wyatt's dog Lucinda, who's a red healer, and then there are the three Great Pyrenees: Delbert, after Delbert McClinton, Dagan after Dagan McDowell, and uh, Sniper, and Sniper. Uh, is going to have to be put down this morning. If we haven't found out, the vet Brooke came and got her last night because she was in such horrible shape. And uh, every day, Deidre takes care of those dogs. Like they're, and she helps run the ranch and runs her center. And I mean, she's not like she didn't have anything to do. She take care of me and all that. And she goes takes care of these dogs. These, you know, his Pyrenees are 150 pound dogs, but Sniper's about 12 or 13, I guess. And just can't, just can't, just can't make it. Stuff stuff them is just shuts down, you know. And the dog will let you know when they're gonna die, when when they want to die. That's just, uh, you know, I for. I mean, I can't tell you. And I looked in Virgil's eyes, and we put Virgil to sleep in the kitchen here at the ranch. Son of a bitch. Just horrifying. Just to look at, 
And Virgil was looking at me like, can't you do something? No, you I mean, you just couldn't do anything. Yeah. Can't describe it's the terrible. heartbreak. It's terrible. Worst thing you could do. But anyway. Oh, well, bum you out, but that's what's going on. I just have to tell you what's going on. That's oh, why it's going to Jackson, Mississippi today to rope. He's going to go to Jackson, Mississippi, he and Reno. They're going to rope calves and rope one calf, rope one steer, and come back. Now, Jackson, Mississippi, from the ranch, is 450 miles. But they're going to get in the Bill Fick Ford and the Bloomer trailer with T-Money at the controls and fly on down the road. So they're going to do all that. Guns is going to do sports then for, uh, you know, Sid. Mm. I hope Sid feels better than that. Sid likes these old radio stories, and when he's not here, I, you know, because you guys don't give me any support with them. And no, we <laughs> may not, in fact, like them. <laughs> Take your notes. Take may your notes. be bored with them. No, no. 